So I'm here with JJ. He's a manager for the Maid Cafe here at uh, Otakut. So hi, JJ. Hey, thanks for having me, Jay. Yes, yes, yes. Andalim pa, andalim tanda na no. Yeah, we, like makatokayo talaga kami. So okay, first question. Tell us about your experience doing this Maid Cafe. I believe this is the second time that you did this. Yes, that is correct. It's the second time. The first time that we've done this was back in February, around mid of February. I guess February 11 or was it February 12 during the Otaske. February cosplay festival. So on that setup, we had the regular stage happening at Inside Laparel, and we have an extended booth which is happening here on Juice QB during that day. And now, because we got good reception of the activity, we decided to change a bit on the system of it and we made it more streamlined so that we can accommodate even more uh, customers looking forward to this experience. I understand that uh, the last Maid Cafe you had, uh, maraming, you know, it's, it's well received, jam pack. But it was too well received. So much so that it did give us a lot of setbacks, unfortunately. <laughs> like the last time I was ordering uh, egg waffle, tapos hindi na ako naka order ng egg waffle. Thankfully, nakapag order na ako egg waffle right now. Really sorry that it took that long. Um, even the kitchen staff, the original staff of Juice Cube, got a little bit overwhelmed by the number of customers coming in. It was so high in demand, I will personally admit we underestimated the type, the demand, the appeal of this business. And I understand that as uh, that that that's really hard, no? But thankfully, naman you did the reservation system uh, to sort things out. But moving forward, aside from that challenge, what are the other challenges that you had to take in to manage this uh, meat cafe? All right, the first challenge that I will personally admit uh, to you, Jay, is that on my side, not much because I already had some F&B experience myself, being a culinary management graduate. But the bigger challenge is, uh, unlike usual F&B businesses, made cafes are very service-oriented. That even if the food is the star, the bigger stars, the reason why these people come here are the maids. So yeah, it was a bit hard to train them and to adjust as well, going from the traditional uh, service sense, trying to twist it up a bit so that it could um, manage and it could satisfy the demand of the niche clientele that is the otaku cosplay community. And uh, we here at the community, there are times, there are instances na mahirap tayong i-please. May mga ganong experiences, right? Yes, that is true, that is true. And not to mention nowadays, the taste of this community is becoming even more, well, for lack of a better word, I guess, eccentric? Um, you, like, you've seen it a lot in the internet. Uh, a lot of them commenting, please step on me sometimes when they see like... Yes, those. That, absolute, absolute. Yeah, so keeping that in mind, I was like, why not we inculcate a bit of that into this Maid Cafe system? Because whenever we hear, see, or even read about Maid Cafes on the internet, or if we went to Japan, it's always the cutesy type, the moe type, the kira kira moe moe kyun type. That's why in our maid cafe, it's not just the kira kira the moe moe kind of maid service you're seeing. You get the little sister service and of course the all popular sundere service. Ah, the sundere service. I think I think I've seen that in action earlier. That was wild. Very wild. How, how, like how is that possible? Well. In, I'm pretty sure a lot in the cosplay community, when I mentioned the name Rin Tosaka, one of the queens of anime sundares, they know what I'm talking about. So I tried to take a bit of pages from her book and apply it as well in the main cafe. So uh, in terms of training, like I tell my mate specifically, if you want to get mad, get mad. And if you think they're being your customers being very vague, well, do what they ask, no matter how vague it is. All right. Okay, so uh, with that said, uh, congratulations. It's been uh, a long two days. So with that said, uh, do you have any other message to our viewers? Yes, for those uh, viewers out there who have not been able to go to the main cafe, rest assured, um, the reason why we're doing this and doing this again, and this time on a two-day setup, is because we're really testing the demand. And it's safe to say that the demand was really well received, uh, giving us a reason to bring this back again and again. Uh, we're obviously not going to change the formula of the service because it was what people are coming here for. But uh, safe to say, we're going to be negotiating with um, Juice QB, for example, or maybe other outlets uh, nearby 
uh, to host the cafe service to bring this back more and more. And hopefully when the expansion branch with uh, Yusan's project Akiba goes underway and we get to have our own in-house uh, booth or in-house outlet, then we get to see it as a regular thing. Nice, nice. So looking forward to that. So JJ, thank you very much for sharing your time. It's again, it's been a long day, and I I, I feel that you're really um, exhausted for lack of word. I'm just running on willpower right now. If I have to say anything honestly, will will willpower talaga. Will to live. Will to ano? I I was supposed to say will to live, but yeah, we can cut that out. Okay. No need to because that is the truth. <laughs> oh yes. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, JJ. Thank you.